Managing Foreign Currency Transactions. This video is going to walk you through some of the steps that you can take in Microsoft Dynamics AX while managing your foreign currency transactions. Functionality that I'll be walking you through includes the foreign currency revaluation process in General Ledger, Accounts Receivable, and Accounts Payable. Um, how to set up currencies for triangulation purposes and as well I want to uh, show you how to do your accounting and reporting currency conversion if you do need to change your currency for your ledger. To start off I just want to open up the ledger form in General Ledger under General Ledger Setup Ledger. This is where you determine for any specific legal entity what its accounting currency and what its reporting currency is as well as what the exchange rate type which will determine which exchange rates are in use for this legal entity and a budgeting exchange rate as well if that's different. Also at the um, bottom of the form you can set up your realized gain and loss and unrealized gain and loss accounts if they are not different per currency. If, they, if their realized and unrealized gain and loss accounts are different per currency under General Ledger Setup Currency, there is a form called Currency Revaluation Accounts. And for each ledger and each currency, you can set up the, the posting accounts for that. Um, the system will look first to the currency um, for the ledger to be the most detailed. And if it find, does not find an account there, then it will move back to ledger and pull the accounts from that during the revaluation processes. Let's start with revaluation. Revaluation of your currency transactions is typically done at a period and uh, especially when uh, your exchange rates have um, changed. So if we start off in accounts payable, we have um, foreign currency revaluation and what this will do is revalue all of the vend open vendor uh, transactions as of, that, of the date that you're running the revaluation and uh, revalue the accounting currency and the reporting currency amounts based on the date that you enter. So to create a new one, you just open up Foreign Currency Evaluation and then click on the Foreign Currency Evaluation button um, and the dialog form opens up. From a method perspective, you have three options for accounts payable. These are also true for accounts receivable. Uh, the standard option um, is just that, standard it will generate unrealized gain and loss uh, amounts if, if appropriate. The second one is minimum. This will only generate uh, revaluation amounts if there is a loss, an unrealized loss. An invoice date, um, really what it does is, is it goes back to the original transaction date and, the and pulls the exchange rate from that. So in the end it's almost like reversing a revaluation and, and setting the invoice back to the accounting currency or reporting currency amount of the original date. So just select standard. Uh, the considered date is used to uh, determine exactly which uh, invoices were open as of that date. So you could be running this a little past your uh, period end date and something may have been settled but was open as of that period end date, so you would want to revalue that amount as well. So that's what the considered date is used for. The date of rate is used to uh, pull the exchange rate from. So you would grab the exchange rate that date. Use the posting profile from is posting or select. So the posting is, is basically going back and pulling the, the, using the posting profile that was set up on the invoice that's being revalued and we'll use the um, summary account from there. Otherwise, you can select a different posting profile and use the summary account from there. The dimension is um, for financial dimensions and how you want to build your um, revaluation account. So none, that would mean you don't ever need to have financial dimensions on that. Uh, table is going to go and pull any default dimensions from the vendor or the customer or posting which will pull the um, 
financial dimensions from the invoice summary account that's being revalued. You can add some uh, text in here for a description and that will actually um, populate the journal entries that get generated from the revaluation process. You can click on the select button and further filter down the revaluation process itself to specific vendor accounts or specific currency or basically anything that's in the tables backing this. In accounts receivable, the process is, is basically the same under accounts receivable periodic foreign currency revaluation. Uh, you click on the foreign currency evaluation button and all the options are exactly the same. And this will just be going through the open customer transactions and revaluing their um, amount, their accounting currency and reporting currency amount. So we'll move out of there and we'll go into general ledger. Now general ledger has a little different foreign currency revaluation. Um, first off, let me just open up uh, the chart of accounts and, and pull up a main account just to show you the fields that I'm talking about. Um, on a main account there is a foreign currency revaluation checkbox and a monetary checkbox. The foreign currency revaluation checkbox needs to be marked in order for a main account's balance to be considered in the foreign currency revaluation and general ledger. Typically if you are revaluing accounts receivable and accounts payable um, outstanding invoices you're not going to want to include your accounts receivable or accounts payable summary accounts in this process. So only flag the foreign currency revaluation accounts, the main accounts that need to be revalued. The monetary checkbox, if that is marked, we will pull the exchange rate off of the foreign currency revaluation process, the true date, and use that date to pull the exchange rate. So it's basically pulling the current uh, date or the evaluation date. If that is unmarked, we will use a historical date. So if you changed your rates on there, we'll revalue on that date. So I'll just open up the form. As you can tell, it's very different than what's in accounts receivable and accounts payable. And basically all you do is enter the range of main accounts that you want to revalue the date range you need to revalue from, uh, the currency code, and the from and to currency code so you don't have to revalue all of them. And then you can also include just to revalue your profit and loss accounts or your balance sheet accounts or you can include both. All of these processes, accounts receivable, accounts payable, and general ledger, foreign currency revaluation processes generate unrealized gain or loss journal entries. The next thing I want to talk about is triangulation. Um, in Microsoft Dynamics AX 2012, to set up triangulation, um, one currency can be set up as uh, the triangulation currency. Um, let me, uh, in this data set, it is the euro. So I'll we'll pull that up. Uh, and as you'll see, there's a checkbox reference currency for triangulation. This is the currency that will be used during triangulation. Any um, currency that is set up as a denomination currency will triangulate through this currency to get to the accounting currency. So for example, if you have um, triangulated, you know, you have euro set up as your triangulation currency and your accounting currency is US dollar, if you set up a denomination currency, for example, British pound, and when you transact in British pound, the British pound will calculate to the euro and then from the euro to the US dollar to get the accounting currency amount. Denomination currencies um, are user definable um, where you set which currency it is, um, what date to start triangulating from, and what the exchange rate is. This will be considered a fixed rate to the currency set up as the triangulation currency. One last thing to talk about are the currency conversions. So under general ledger periodic currency conversions, there are two different uh, uh, currency conversion processes that can be one, run. One is the ledger accounting currency conversion process and this process takes actually a little bit of time um, as it goes through 
the system um, and will um, recalculate the accounting currency amounts for all the tables that, that store an accounting currency amount. So for example, your current currency is US dollar and you've moved your, your legal entity to another country or your, your actual functional currency has changed, the currency conversion amount, uh, process itself will manage to, uh, will go through all of the tables and convert the accounting currency amount to the new currency amount based on the exchange rate that you enter. Uh, this process can be a bit time consuming at points, as you can see even opening the form can be a little while um, as we go and gather all the data. Um, it is not something that, that you take lightly or something that is run very often. Everything needs to be closed down so you'll have to run your inventory closing and all your periods up until the, um, through the prior year have to be closed, um, marked as closed and the, the fiscal periods have to be closed as well as a fiscal year before you can even run this process. So in here, all you would do is um, it shows you for this legal entity what your current um, ledger accounting currency is, and then you would pick what currency you want to move to. Say, for example, I wanted to go to Euro. You would enter what that exchange rate is between US dollar and Euro on this date, um, and then you can enter in a voucher number, and it should default in with a conversion gain or loss account. If that isn't set up, um, you need to go set that up in your um, posting accounts as well. Uh, the ledger reporting currency conversion is very similar as well. And then this process, it's basically going to change the reporting currency for the ledger to another one. And this will calculate from the accounting currency to this reporting currency. So if you don't have a reporting currency or you, or you need to change it, this is where you would um, do this. Again, this process should not be taken lightly as um, pretty much everything needs to be closed down in order for you to run this process. Well, that's all I have today for the uh, um, managing foreign currency transactions. Thank you for your attention.